the repeal and replace of Obamacare is, has failed. Seems that Republicans are now turning to tax reform. But where does this stand without getting the health care done? Is there even a chance of meaningful tax reform happening? Uh, what do you see as the obstacles to getting tax reform done right now? Okay, meaningful tax reform right now is far from a slam dunk. Based upon what we saw uh, just this week in the Senate related to Obamacare and the failure of repair, uh, repair, <laughs> repeal and replace, and uh, because the version that they were working on had been so watered down, but yet they couldn't get it through, is not a good sign for the future related to tax reform, because what's happening here is congressional Republicans and the president are just not on the same page. And I would argue that uh, tax reform is actually more critical than health care to the Trump presidency. And the reason I say that is because he was elected primarily to grow the economy. And he needs to do something dramatic with tax cuts in order to achieve his goal. Now, we've seen some pretty good growth. Uh, reports just came out related to the second quarter. But we are not going to see anything substantial unless the economy gets revved up through the tax cuts that Trump has been talking about since he started his presidential campaign. So when we look at where we are now, remember, uh, Trump started with tax cuts across the board. And then that kind of evolved with Steve uh, Mnuchin, the uh, Secretary of the Treasury, to saying, well, yes, everybody's getting a tax cut, but for the rich, they're going to be just the same. They're not going to pay more. But they're not going to pay less. The tax cuts are really going to be geared towards everyone else. Now what we're hearing just this past week is that the rich or some of the rich are going to have tax increases because we're going to have to be able to cover middle class tax cuts. So what we're seeing here, once again, is everyone not being on the same page. And that's just... You know, what's kind of going on with the people who are working on this, you know, just a, a select group of congressional leaders and the president and, of course, the Treasury secretary. So there are a lot of obstacles here. And let's just take a look now at what some of the big issues are going to be where the battlegrounds are, are going to be laid down. The lowering of the corporate tax rates to 15%. I think that's going to be a tough one to get it all the way down that low. If they can get this through, I think it'll be somewhere along the lines of 20%. Another really big one, getting rid of all itemized deductions except for mortgage interest and your charitable deductions. Now, this is really a, uh, a line in the sand, because what happens here is, is that the states that have high taxes, New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Connecticut, California, Illinois, those states are really going to get hurt, or, or the taxpayers in those states are really going to get hurt because they're going to be paying high state taxes, and they're not going to get federal deductions for them. But, you know, the political view of this is to say, hey, those are all Democratic states. Trump doesn't care um, because they don't vote for him anyway. So to the extent he can uh, essentially raise those taxes, but the red states that don't have high state taxes are going to benefit, bolsters his uh, potential reelection. So that's just kind of a, a side note. So again, you do have Republican representatives in those states. They are really going to resist that proposal. Um, and to be honest with you, if there's a tax cut for the wealthy or even them staying the same, there are going to be people complaining about that, particularly Democrats and on the left. But on the other side, the conservatives are going to say no, trickle down economics here, Reaganomics, and what we thought was Trumponomics, 
there's got to be tax cuts across the board, including for the wealthy. Uh, may be unpopular with the masses, but as far as a belief in in trickle down economics, so you know they they're, they're going to want that. So that is going to be a fight either way. And then another big one is going to be the lowering of taxes for pass through entities. So if you have an LLC, if you have an S corporation, as those earnings pass through those those entities to the individual owners, what uh, Trump has been proposing is is that it would be the same as the corporate tax rate, uh, presumably at 15 percent. That's going to be a huge tax cut, and I think there's going to be some abuse in that area. So hard to say whether he'll get that through. But uh, directly to your point, can the president, can uh, congressional Republicans get this done because they are not going to have Democratic support? I'm starting to doubt they will be able to get anything meaningful done because um, uh, the the uh, health care situation was very complicated. And believe me, tax reform is not that much less complicated. So I don't really believe that Congress is capable of doing anything complicated at this point. So right now, I am a little doubtful that we're going to get something meaningful. And if we don't, I think there's going to be a trickle from that point to the stock market, and we could really have a reversal of the growth we're seeing from this second quarter. Right, and and even though Republicans do have the uh, Congress and the White House, they uh, all you need is a couple of senators and uh, to say no, and uh, and we we saw it with Trump Care being defeated this week. 